Hi everybody, I am your Prasad. Now we are going to discuss multiprocessors. What is multiprocessor? Define multiprocessor and its characteristics. How it works? You can ask any question. They can ask any question from the JNTU. So this is the topic from with a cursor I will explain. So fifth unit CYA computer organization and architecture. Fifth unit CYA fifth unit third chapter. Third chapter. You can see the cursor is moving. Third chapter multi processors. Multi means many. Already told you in my previous video. Many processors. P1, P2, P3. So far we have seen up to fourth unit we have seen and mostly we use single processor only in a system in a laptop or in a computer in cell phone wherever we use single processor whether it may be P7, i7 or 12th generation i5 or i3 i3 processors single only but whereas in real time systems workstations like Google search engine YouTube companies big big companies they will use multi processor to increase the speed of the computer so now we will see multiprocessor means many processor in a single system is called multiprocessor so characteristics now with the C cursor characteristics of multiprocessors a multiprocessor system is an interconnection of two or more CPUs two or more CPUs I already told you with memory and input output equipment right very simple uh, example central processing unit CPU and we have input output processor input output devices we have CPUs are many input output devices also many of course this is from the first unit onwards because the input output devices are many keyboard mouse and all but processor is one in up to fourth unit now in fifth unit we are going to learn about many processors multiple processors multiple processors are classified as multiple instruction stream multiple data stream MIMD we are already discussed this in our previous video array processor these are of four types this is multiple instruction it will give instructions multiple many instruction stream means flow of the instruction here see here instructions means command rules stream stream means flow F L O W flow many instructions many instruction flow and multiple data data means information information sum x equal to 10 y is equal to 10 anything which is in the uh, registers in the form of zeros and ones flow so multiple instruction and multiple data is used in multiple processors that's it very simple right all processors usually have access to one memory but the memory is one so that's why it is called shared memory in such system called shared memory multiprocessor see in exam you can ask explain about shared memory in multiprocessor means you need you can write this this also because memory is single right so with this you can at attach this also inter uh, connection structures so how they are connected how they are communicated that we will see in the next next question here you need when it is coming for SMS question you need to write this also right very simple now you can see the cursor right the components that perform a multiprocessors systems or CPUs IO piece input output processor peripheral devices connected to the input output devices and a memory unit that may be partitioned a number of separate modules these are several physical forms available for establishing an interconnection networks in interconnection structures they are so many devices are interconnected so the functionality performed are these things right so before that if you see the diagram you can understand it clearly see here main memory unit or main memory I write neatly main memory mostly we will take primary memory that is RAM example RAM that is one that is connected to processor one CPU one means processor one and processor two 
processor, three input output device, it, it, it may be keyboard or mouse, here it may be monitor or printer, right? Multiple processor systems. This is the example of multiprocessor systems. So processor one, processor two, processor three. And here with another color we will write here input output device peripheral devices one two it may be many but shared memory is single right this is one diagram here the task the functionality is performed some of the schemes are time shared time will be shared among those devices right time will be shared with the common bus see this is common bus the line is there no this is common bus this line is common bus in between those devices this is common bus to share the information among those right common bus then uh, not visible now see you can uh, keep your phone into horizontal in my previous video also i told you and zoom a little bit use earphones uh, right with nodes uh, rough notes and a pen and if diagrams comes practice two times minimum minimum so then here multi port memory memory having multi ports means multiple uh, multiple means holes for example pen drive will keep pen drive will keep all those are called ports right male and female will be there so you will connect uh, input devices like uh, keyboard you will connect somewhere and mouse you will connect somewhere you will having physical equipments you know you have seen in your computer and similarly we can connect a printer printer wire is separate so those are called multiple ports multiple holes nothing but male female and all then crossbar switch it will be connected for networks so many many switches many internet connections it will be used multi uh, stage switches so multi stage switches will be there to connect all the devices at one place in the network then hypercube systems many uh, systems will be connected at this stage so some of the schemes are this so the some of the working functionalities of multiple processors use these things right with a neat diagram right multiple processor means many processor in a single system is called multiple processors and these are the characteristics right see here very simple so it this may come in short mass question or sm mass question also fifth unit third chapter multiple processor many processors right all the best for your exam